Hello and welcome to part 4 of my um, Anno 1404 walkthrough. The little town is okay and what I'm thinking is my money here is not going so well. I started out with 50,000, I'm down to about half that now. It's about time I did something about it. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I've decided, in between these parts I've had a bit of a think, I'm going to bring up the tax revenues. Um, they can be calm or even tempered. What happens here? They move out. I don't want that. Even tempered. There we go. With even tempered peasants, um, they're not going to ascend, but they're paying me more taxes. And the same goes with these euphoric citizens. They don't need to be euphoric or even happy. Even tempered is good enough for me for the moment. When I've satisfied all their needs and I want them to ascend, I can bring the tax level back down. Right now, that's probably good enough. Um, I don't know if I should really have them happy or even-tempered. I'm going to leave them on even-tempered for now. Um, they don't move out and I start getting a bit more money in. And I also should be doing something with these islands I've discovered to maybe make some money. Um, that one's already occupied obviously and I have a little trade route set up. This is uninhabited. I have indigo. Hmm. Spices on this one, which is useful. Clay, indigo. Too small. Silk, sugar, roses. This one. Dates, clay, almonds. I'm really looking for one with spices and dates because my citizens need spices to advance. I don't have it, but I can, I believe, buy spices from this chappy, or buy the fertility. I can, for a hundred honour. And it might be worth my while exploring a bit more as well. So my ship here, which has been exploring, maybe should explore First of all, in this space here, see what's there. There may be an island that already has it. In the meantime, I think I might try and populate this island because it has cider and hemp, so I can stick a bunch of peasants on here and basically tax them up. It'll cost a bit of wood and stuff, I'm sure, but I'm, I can do that. I suppose I also have to build a ship now, but I need more rope. And to build rope, well, let's see what I can build. Can I build a rope, rope yard? Yes, I can. It needs hemp anyway, so I suppose I should build it up near my hemp fields, which are over here somewhere. Is this hemp? Yes. I'll build a rope yard up here as well then. And just to be on the safe side, I will build some hemp. Two hemps for the rope yard is, is uh, probably about right. Is there a reason I can't build it? I don't have any tools at the moment, as usual, of course. Now I have built, I hope, a tool yard somewhere, but I probably need to build another one. This was the tool 
That's charcoal burner's hut. There's the stone yard. My iron hut is over here. So hopefully uh, the ship has just arrived. Maybe I have some tools now. Four. But unfortunately to build a tool yard I need five. Honestly. I have in the meantime though discovered another island. With dates and spices. But it is already occupied. So I can't use that island unless I want to conquer it. From the name it looks like uh, a non-enemy at the moment. Let's see if there's something over here. Or I might do better actually to sail home with these tools and build myself a tool yard. Let's do that. Now what I'm thinking of doing with this island just to the north of mine, because it has hemp and cider, is a small village on it basically. It also has some strange woman here. So I might build my little village here so I can connect up to that fairly easily and benefit from whatever she's got to sell me or something. Looks like um, they make bread there which might be interesting. Free bread? I think the nobles like bread. My ship is nearly here. with some tools. I have an ore mine, I have a charcoal burner's hut, so I can build a, a tool, tool yard or tool maker's workshop. And if I build another charcoal burner's, burner's hut, I can build another one if I can find some more iron ore. And there is indeed more iron here. Iron ore requires two tools. Well, I could build that now, just to get it started. I can quickly offload these tools. Goop. And now I can, well I might keep the ship to populate the Northern Ireland first of all. Let me build a tool yard for goodness sake. Let's build two. Thank you. And another charcoal burner's hut. I'd better put it somewhere here. Not too far away. There we go. Connect it up with a road or a track. And on this place, let me. Oh well, he, I don't need to build fields for a charcoal burner. He, he knows what he's doing. Good. Well, this place is working. This place needs a, a journeyman. Now I can. Can I not request because it's not available at the moment. Another quest, I'm not interested, sorry. I've got stuff to do. Well, these guys are not working yet. I do hope they'll start soon. Now, I need to build something. So I need to stick some stuff on the ship. I don't know if I can if 
four tools is enough. But I need to build a marketplace um, and things of this sort. It needs three tools, five wood, 400 gold and 10 of that other thing, God, I don't know what it is. I really should look it up, shouldn't I? But there's no tools there. Well, I have four tools, so I guess I can get up here. I think I need a... first thing I need to build on an island, though, is a small warehouse on the coast, which needs three tools and another three tools for the marketplace and two tools for the fisherman's hut. I'm going to have to go there with about ten tools, basically. So has Lord Northborough got a few that I can pick up? He's got three. My other ship is there anyway and it's going to pick them up. I will have to wait and not build stuff that requires tools at the moment. This one needs iron. Probably I, I'm i building the ore, but I haven't built an iron smelter. For which I need five tools. Now oh, we're getting there. Let's build the smelter first and then populate the island, I suppose. I have enough tools on here to get started with this island, so I think I might as well start anyway and bring the ship back in a bit to pick up some more tools. And here we are. It's not very far away. So this area is a bit closer, but I don't want to be having to build too much, so we'll start here if I possibly can. Build warehouse. I'm given the option straight away, so I do it somewhere here next to the ship, where it would be a good spot. Something like this, close to a couple of resources, I suppose. And the warehouse has all the stuff. Oh, well, that's nice. Leifey likes the fact that I've built a settlement. Don't know why, it's competing with him. Let's send the ship back to my warehouse quickly. Now I can't do much here um, with only two tools, but I can start. I can't, I have to build my small market building first. So let's get this ship back here with some tools. Or if I can get five tools here, I can build another iron smelter. Or even one iron smelter, I think. Four tools, well, in that case I will send it onto the ship, there we go. And I might as well while it's saving, I might as well pump a bit more wood onto there. Right. 
What the heck, hey? Now let's go. See, we have here on the island some iron and some stone. These are both useful. Some coal for when my civilization is a bit more advanced, I'll be able to mine that. But I can build charcoal burners huts at the moment. Should I need to? On this island, though, I'm going to build peasant houses, fishermen and cider farms just to keep them happy and so I can tax them. My tax revenues are in fact going up now since I increased the tax rate on my citizens anyway but I don't really want to keep them too high all the time. It's not really very good for them after all. So, okay, I've got various supplies, so I can now build a marketplace for my citizens. And where shall I build it? Somewhere. Somewhere where I can build lots of peasant houses with no interruption, so how about something like that? I, don't know if I right clicked instead of left clicking, didn't I? There we go, the maximum uninterrupted area for peasant houses. Bang. Build a little dirt track to connect it up. I'm going to need some fishermen's huts to feed the people here, so I might as well build them straight away if I can. Can I? Yes. One. And that's it because of the lack of tools for the moment. But we are starting. I can start to build some peasant houses now. Right away I'm going to... Oh, they don't have all their supplies yet. As in food, just at the moment. Let's wait until I've got some food for them before I build any more. I don't want to upset them too much. There are no tools here. I have some wood. Oh, well, yes I know. I do hope something's happening here, or whether I need... I probably need to build a small market building in order to get some journeymen, or a journeyman. This ship is unloading four tools, which is fantastic, just what I need. I've got a load of tools now, at the moment. Right. If I wait for swordfish to unload, I can just build an iron smelter and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Did 
did do it. No? What's going on? Have these, something happened with these trade routes? Yes, I forgot to unload my tools in this one. All right. Let's just pause that trade route for the moment. Because I want to send him back and unload the tools. Excuse me, Shippy, where are you? And perhaps the same with this one, something's up with this one, it isn't. Oh, it seems to be accidentally under escort. I'd better put it back on its trade route, right? Somehow I messed that route up as well. I don't know. When you click on them, things happen. Best not to click on ships that are trading, obviously. <laughs> Just dump them on there quickly. Okay, good. Now this ship needs to trade, he needs to unload the goods into the warehouse. All of them, thank you. And I will quickly send um, Swordfish, I think it is, back onto his trade route, yes. I think it's happening, is it? No. Go. Go. Remove from trade route. Add to trade route. How about that? Off, off it goes, right. Good. Stuff is happening now. First of all, before I do anything, I must build an iron smelter here. Thank you. That's more like it. We can get some iron happening. I don't know if one iron smelter is sufficient or if I need two. Um, I'll build two. I do, after all, have two mines. And we'll see how it goes. Right. How am I doing now for tools? I have a few. Into the ship. Off. Thank you. And up here. We do have some fish here now, so... Perhaps the peasants are not so unhappy now. Yes, they are euphoric. I'll keep it euphoric for a bit and move in quickly. Let's demolish this one. I built him off plan as we say these days. But 
to be careful. I want I'll need somebody to um, create wood for me. So it needs to be I think outside the market area really which is here so I want wood maybe oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a mine over here I'm gonna have a mine there but one woody guy here might be useful I'll pay him two grand or so and so Insufficient building material. What is going on? Unload everything. Boff, boff, boff. Thank you. And back to my island in case I need to pick anything else up. Now, what do I need for building the, the wood choppers? Two tools, that's the problem, but it's not anymore because I've just unloaded a load. Where's the edge of this market area? I don't really want to build them in that area, you see. Or I suppose I can build them and chop them down later. So, around here, if, if possible. I probably can't because it's outside the area, but I'll do what I can momentarily and change it. Yes, it has to be within that area. So, for the moment, one there. And for the moment, one here. I'll probably a load more very shortly. He's got to be demolished because he's going to be in the way of a, a road. I need another fisherman's hut, don't I? Let's do that quickly. Okay. And these chappies are going to need some cider, I suppose. And this island has cider. So I'm just going to build another fisherman's hut first. They, they can live without cider temporarily. Oh, all right, I'll build a cider farm here somewhere. Mm, no, I won't. I'll leave it temporarily. To see probably build another market building over here and then build the cider for them. I don't want them, them growing too much. The whole point of these people is to tax them, so we'll just keep them even-tempered for the moment. Um, assuming it doesn't stop peasants moving in. And at the moment we have a almost viable community. And I've got to save the game and finish part four now. So I'll stop recording now and see you in part five. Goodbye.